Those look so good. Now I can't stop thinking about banana pudding pie. Mm. And then our producer was saying that a bunch of them came to so like cherry pie too, which now has me thinking those apple. I think I know where I'm going to make a trip later this week. <laughs> Maybe worth that drive down to Belmont. Give Bell me Buckle. one, please. Uh, I will let you know when I'm down there. So uh, maybe coming to check out one of Mama's pies this week. Uh, you know, today is a good day to sit inside. If you do happen to have some pie, stay warm, a little hot chocolate. It's not frigid out. It's just damp and kind of cool and dreary outside. Mm. Take a look at the Power of Five radars. The clouds, they are thick, a little drizzle with them. Uh, a few light showers can't be ruled out, and even a few snowflakes towards the plateau. But all in all, things forecast-wise improved from yesterday's heavy rain, which is lifted out of here. It's now in the northeast. You can see over towards Cleveland, so throughout the Great Lakes region, we've still got some heavy rain. A little bit of winter weather mixing in in parts of Indiana uh, and over towards Illinois. We could see a snowflake or two here at home, but... Really nothing that's going to be uh, problematic or accumulating as the surface temperatures are pretty warm. So the low now continuing to lift out of here, but still on the back side of it, with that counterclockwise motion, you're getting some moisture to wrap around it, and that's what's going to bring a little drizzle this way and maybe even a few snowflakes today. Let's go on and take a look at as we go into this evening now as that low continues to lift out of here. It will pull this moisture out, but these clouds are going to be pretty stubborn to really kick out of here. It won't be until, I think, tomorrow afternoon we'll start to see some drier air back towards Arkansas, Missouri, that's going to start to work in and really help to get the cloud cover out of the region. So bringing it in for a closer check to home, we'll look at exact track and put temperatures on it as well. By midday clouds, 30s and 40s out there, maybe a few flakes in the plateau towards East Tennessee, not getting out of the 30s and 40s today, and then heading into tonight, 40s and upper 30s. So the mercury is not moving a whole lot for your Sunday, even into tonight. And really for parts of tomorrow, because these clouds are going to be a bit stubborn. I think around midday they start to break. We should be mostly clear by dinner time, and then look for conditions to be rather quiet heading into Monday night. Right now we're at 38 degrees in Dixon. Clarksville's at 40 along with Hopkinsville, Nashville, Columbia. 39 in Cookville, while Lafayette's at 37 degrees. In Dixon from our Skynet site on Main Street, 38 degrees. 41 in the Queen City of Clarksville from our Skynet site there in downtown Clarksville. And we bring you to News Channel 5. A few raindrops on the lens here as we look towards the capital. 40 degrees, our current temperature in downtown from our News Channel 5 Skynet. I think we only make it to 44 today, so maybe about three to four degrees warmer than temperatures are now where we top out today. 40 tonight, 48 tomorrow. Looks to be dry as clouds will be very slow to clear. 31 Monday night into Tuesday. We get what's called a clipper system, very quick moving system that's gonna slide through on Tuesday. Put about a 20% chance of rain in there, 55 the high. A bit below average, though, by Wednesday. And then a rather stagnant pattern to end the week. Temperatures are going to hold in the 50s, lows in the 30s. And uh, all in all, really quiet conditions as you look at the next seven days of your forecast. Today, though, Jennifer, a little drizzle possible. But those clouds, the breeze out there, it's going to add to a chill in the air.